Ah, here we go. Hello, everybody. It's been a while, hasn't it? It's cold, isn't it? Cool. Got my hat on, my woolly hat. W for woolly. Yes. That's what the W stands for. <laughs> oh, it's like I've never been away. Right, um, <clears throat> what's to get through? But well, I'm having a brew first. I'm having a coffee. And even though I said I'd never drink coffee again, I'm having a coffee. So what, you can't tell me what to do? Stop telling me what to do! Uh, Friday. Right, if anybody is, I hope you're all okay. It's been a couple of weeks since I've done a video because I've been traveling and then I got back from my travels and I, I was just like, shit, like, which is ridiculous because it was only over to the um, east coast of the state to go do rack on the shop. And, but I was, I, I didn't really even get over it going there. Probably because I was staying up till two o'clock in the morning, catching up with, with my friends. Um, and you know, not drinking anymore does help, but I'm still just tired. So uh, I slept quite a lot when I got home, just basically got home and went to bed. So all that kind of, how to get home with jet lag? Just go to bed. Just go to bed. Right, so uh, I've got some great records. I'm not, I did buy loads of records in the States, and I'm sure if you saw the things that I've put out recently, some of the pictures of them, you can get an idea of what I've got. But it's not just all stuff from Discord. I bought some stuff from all, loads of great record shops. I'll talk a little bit about that. Um, I'll put the timings in here. And uh, <laughs> holding my hanky like my nan, put it on me, see? And um, so you can go to normal records or collectibles. If you've never watched one of these videos before, welcome. I'm Alan, I run a record shop in Liverpool. I do these big videos. A lot of it's me just talking rubbish. And some eh, records and some mm, records and some what? records. All right, so stick around and watch them. I'm uh, trying to get the young one to play on VHS video. That's how 2023 we are. Boom. Oh, when I was over in the States, I bought this. Getting down a little bit of an audio visual rabbit hole. Uh, and um, I bought this, which looks like an LP record, right? Midnight Run, great movie, great movie. Thought, oh, is that the soundtrack? No, it's not in the States. You know, it's a big, cheap, super cheap thing. Laser disc. <laughs> anyway, like $6. I was like, it's shiny. <laughs> So I bought one, I've got a laser disc player, and they're quite expensive over here. They're heavy. I put all the stuff I bought, I put in my suitcase. And I left like pants and socks and I'd, I'd be trousers stuffed in my bag and I had like uh, like bits of stuff in my pockets, um, change of socks, <laughs> what was it? And everything else I kind of threw away and then brought back loads of records. Which is obviously most important thing. So, have a cup of coffee. What else? Right, oh, we need a ding for, a ding for the departed. I always say a ding for the dead, that's a sounds. A ding for the departed, who's, who's departed? Quite a lot. <laughs> four, four people yesterday, Dean Sullivan. Oh no, no, so Geordie Walker, killing Joe, died. There's a ding for Geordie. I don't really know that much about Killing Joke. I only know really in the 80s, sadly, you know. But stuff like this inspires me. You know, I think it's important for people to own up and go, not own up, but you know, you go to a record shop and you think people have heard of everything, you feel a bit intimidated. It's not the case. It's not the case. And a good record shop, hopefully, or good anybody, will go, I've never really in invested that much time in that. What should I listen to? It's like my good friends, Tom and Liam, Trying to get me to listen to Kiss, and I'm just struggling with it. I just don't get it. I, I, even the early stuff, it just sounds like a six-form band to me. And you know, I think there's, there's other better bands. Liam was saying the New York, just as good as the New York Dolls, and I was thinking, I mean, the New York Dolls aren't even that amazing, but I still prefer them. Anyway, stuff like that. Anyway, so Jodie Walker, there's one for him. Shane McGowan, obviously, there's one for him. 
I do have a Shane McGowan story, which if you want to come in the shop, I will tell you, but I'm not putting it, I'm not committing it to the video. Um, I didn't see Henry Kissinger died. There's a very good book. There's no ding. There's a very good book by Christopher Hitchens about Henry Kissinger. It, it's it's one-sided, I guess, but it's investigative. So if you come at it, I, I don't, I think Hitchens had information and, and, and put together the book based on what he, on what he, you know, it was kind of deductive logic. He was, he was driving towards the point, the point, right? Which is never the best way of approaching things, is it? You need to come at it totally objective. He's not allowed to defend himself. But anyway, it's a very good book, read it, by Henry Kissinger. Um, that's, it's, it's very good. Who else? Uh, uh, oh, what's his face? That Labour MP, Soz. I can't remember your name. Anyway, yeah, the old Grim Reapers clearly wants to knock off early for Christmas, doesn't he? Shouldn't joke. Shouldn't joke. Shouldn't joke. Not funny. It's not funny that that new mum texting me. That wasn't a funny joke. That wasn't a funny joke. Well, you, that wasn't a funny joke, son. Sorry. Um, right. Toilet roll news. We've got some. Get down early before it sells out. <laughs> okay, I've done that. That's just a reminder for me to put a um, an order in. Christmas opening hours. We'll be open over Christmas. Okay, moving on from that now. Just kidding. We're going to be open Thursday, Friday, Saturday. <laughs> it just rewound and then ejected itself. I've been trying to get it to play for the last 20 minutes. This is my job. Let me see if it plays. <laughs> you gotta love life, haven't you? Yeah, gotta enjoy yourself while well, you can. Um, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and then I think in the week up to Christmas, I'll open every day and Sunday, which is Christmas Eve. I will open ten till four, and I hope there's people knocking on the door at like four o'clock, demanding emergency LP Brooks LPs or something. I doubt it, but I really hope so. Um, I put out a podcast. It's obviously just as good as this video <laughs> that's not fair tom it, who works in the shop and uh is doing part of it and he we're trying to just get into different styles of music that people might not be aware of but are really good and well, we think there's some really good bits of music in there that sh should you should listen to or not be afraid of getting into so one of them is like uh, muzak and kmart tapes which is supermarket music really from the states from the 80s and 90s and some of it is really interesting and then what developed on the back of that is really interesting some re just really great music so we're gonna we've started it we did one it's on i put it on this channel yesterday we're going to improve it as we go right we, we, we hope we, well i know we're going to get some guests in to talk about their interesting lives in and around music and it's not just all about promoting stuff i did promote the shop on it yesterday i'm not going to do that anymore right we've got a lot to get through so um i just want to say first off uh, a big shout out to the teetles Issue number two in the shop. Can we get that? Um, that's great. So I, I, I went to so many great record shops and I picked up so many cool things that I, there's a shout out to quite a few of the record shops. But one, some records was very good. Another one was, this is in Washington DC, Joint Custody Records. Gave me a tote bag. They were very good. I bought some nice uh, Bruno Jazz from there, which I might, I might sell, but you know, I bought Lee Morgan Sidewinder. Admittedly, it's it's a it's a repress. I think it's an early seventies repress, but it's like really good condition. I'm not struggling, struggling to sell that. All right, should we get on with it? Okay, I'm a bot surfing bird. Going in the jukebox. So is everybody all right? Are you you're not suffering from like winter? Seasonal affective disorder, sad, are you? What's the best way of getting over seasonal affective disorder? Make a video, that's good. Uh, think about your achievements in, mm, maybe, maybe not. What about, what about thinking about, think about you, think about this, think about this. If you, if you come at it from, I know you, you, you want quantum physics uh, in a record shop video. If you come at it from a quantum perspective, which I think is right, String theory, I'm just pulling out the air what I remember from reading some popular science books. If you believe in parallel universes, just think think of it this way. Think, you've achieved everything there is to achieve in life, 
but perhaps not in this universe, but in a parallel universe. Now, like I wouldn't have hurt me, I'm banging that bell. This video would have been funny. Think about it like that. Damn it. Ow. This bell. Right, it's part of the shop, isn't it? Uh, okay, so parallel universes. Um, that's not on my notes. What's on my notes? Record vouchers. Buy record vouchers. If you're looking for something for Christmas, I've got cleaning products, I've got storage stuff, I've got record vouchers, I've got records. I've sold out of all my turntables. I had about half a dozen and they're all gone. I've got some other bits of separates if you're interested in that. Um, we have loads of CDs, interesting ones, Queen singles, At The Drive-In, all sorts of other interesting ones. I bought a load of eight tracks. If you're interested in them, come in the shop, Carol King, Tapestry. These actually are for me. Flute with Mac. Black Sabbath, Black Sabbath, look at that. I don't want to drop that on my coffee. Queen Night of the Opera, the best album. King, 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 blah, 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 in the court. That sounds amazing on this track. Uh, Rush, moving pictures. That's the album. Yeah, Mr. Ruffalo sounds great, doesn't he? And then one of my favourite albums is, uh, da, 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 in that whole soul jazz genre, is Boogaloo Joe Jones. I love this album. Particularly the track right on, which is just, his guitar playing is brilliant. Sealed, look at that. So, I'll do a completely standalone video on opening that. Right, we're about... 11 minutes in, I haven't even started. We get through the records. Oh, I can't be all over that. We'll get through the records pretty quick. All right. We'll go for 12 minutes before I get into that. You might have seen in a podcast or in some of the things that I've put out that um, this Trumpet A Go Go record is going to be travelling around the world. If you're going to travel anywhere in the world, want to take it with you and get a photo, it's got to show an Instagram page, Trumpet A Go Go. You can take it with you, send me the picture, um, and follow that page and then uh, we'll put it on and then you can give it to somebody else who's going around the world and we'll get trumpet a go-go around the world yeah or if it just absolutely no one's interested and it fades into obscurity and it'll just be then me taking a picture of it when i go to you know skeggy or something you know what i mean right hello welcome what have we got let's rifle through this kinks village green preservation society new i've got a i've got a I've still got a stereo, no, stereo mono one, my old mono one on the wall. Uh, 375 kilos. <laughs> Look it up, that's not a bad price. Love is magic, John Grant. Oh, John Grant, me. Someone said to me once, John Grant reminded them of like the hipster right said Fred, which I was really insulted with, because it's nothing like it. Um, John, my mate John, boss lad. Me and John went to a gig once. I, will, I, don't, I don't want to talk. <laughs> nice fella. Um, boy from Michigan. If you like John, listen to the Zars. Uh, listen to. Do, 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 do. Where's my Zar stuff? Stay there, reader. There's loads of good. This obviously John Grant album is his first solo album. Oh, sh sh boss. And if you want to listen to the stuff like that before listening to the Zars, goodbye. Any Zars stuff, but that's my that's the first one I listened to. That's one I got into. Listen to them. There's a thing for, for Johnny lad. Rumours. New pressing of it. I've got about 900 billion copies. These are the, just standard. These are the old ones, not the new ones. Because they're like 75 quid each. Which, you know, no manner of... of um, Remastering is, is going to make it seven, worth 75 quid. Got loads of these. Price them all up for Crimbo. Red and blue. Got loads of them. Uh, some stuff that Tom brought in. Ooh. Last day of April. Rainmaker. Which I know you're going amazing. Rising at Don't Buy My Hands 12 inch. Of course you're all going. Oh, oh I wish I had the picture just for that. I wish I had 7 into that. I don't want the 12 inch. Levitation, the after ever. Mix it all up. That's what the beauty of a record shop is. You get all sorts of stuff in. John Lennon collection. Got me 12 quid. Stevie Wonder, hotter than July. A tenner. Just got Sir Duke on it. Mas no, Sir Duke's on the double one, isn't it? Master Blaster. Happy birthday. Oh, Stevie. Oh, Stevie. 
Stevie's a bit like Queen, isn't he? Some of it is, you go, holy smoke, you've got to sit down and listen to it and go, wow, that's amazing. And some of it you go, what? You're a genius, I can't do it, but what? Just seeing how close I can get it to the camera. That'll be my profile shot. Okay. This, there any bell engineers out there? Can be bell's a bit sticky. <laughs> 51. 51 years old. Full comments. Hello, I must be going. The original. He did them all, didn't he? A lot of artists re record their records because they don't get the PR. They don't get paid when the original record is played. So they, um, rather than trying to buy that music outright, they get it, they re record. Did you, it's 56 years, isn't it? Because Mac is starting to get the rights back to his, to some of his records. Super Trump. Breakfast in America, Super Tramp. Yeah, I could do a podcast just on Super Tramp. They're just amazing. Shelter People, for radio use only. Leon Russell, Dwight Twiley, Twilly Band, Phoebe Snow, Freddie King, Shelter People. No, but I'm listening to that. Looks good. I mean, who doesn't want to listen to Leon Russell? Stooges, Funhouse, Repress. Jesus Jones, Doubt. Keyboard player is Jesus Jones. Just look him up on YouTube. Wants to be the singer. This is a good example of me putting a record in a video and then not getting around to actually putting it out. I put this in the video about three months ago, I think. And it's uh, Lam Fung hurrying to the flower show and it's Chinese classical music. I didn't even put it out. We've kind of been at it on the side listening to it in the shop. It's very good. Really interesting. Michael Jackson off the wall. Man and War fighting the world. 20 quid. It's got uh, Orson Welles on it, doing some narration, which is really quite cool. More people's red and blue, because it's Christmas. Patty Smith, Easter. I might play that. Even though it's Christmas. Queen Life Killers. If you put the podcast on, I'll tell you a great story about me having this album and starting to learn to play the drums and putting it, putting it on in my bedroom and then turning the lights off and then running into my bedroom pretending I was Roger Taylor, jumping, getting on stage and then starting the gig and then playing the entire record, obviously getting up to turn it over. And then uh, all whilst the poor neighbour who was just actually driving next door was banging on the wall, I'm not get back down in. I was playing like you proper drum kit. <laughs> in a parallel universe somewhere, I am playing Wembley Stadium. Uh, Need to blow my nose, but I'm not using the toilet roll. <laughs> still, <laughs> Silver Sun. Right, so Silver Sun just reissued these albums, or well, they have just been reissued. And I love Silver Sun, you've got to give them a listen. They are very poppy, but rocky, and great harmonies, and they're just, a, I really like them. This is mid 90s, though, I, th I think. I'm going to say it's 97. But this is, this is a brilliant album, and then. Very big in Japan. And then this one is even better. A kind of bubblegummy, poppy, um, power pop band, they're called. But really, really amazing. And sadly, uh, the chap, I still can't remember his second name, the singer, sadly died quite recently. Very, very sad. There's a thing to him. I know his name's James. 10CC, greatest hits. Doesn't stand for that. Doesn't stand for that. Get it out of your mind. <laughs> oh my god. Well, not when you get to 51. Let's move on. Uh, Armed Forces, Elvis is selling the attractions to refresh that. The original one has a fold out sleeve. I've got that, but uh, that's a refresh. This is the biggest selling album in the shop. And I actually picked this one up from the States. It was like, it was quite cheap, but it's an American pressing of it. And I was like, oh, I'll get that because that's the biggest. So, you know, <laughs> something like 4,000 kilometres just to, <laughs> and however many hundreds of pounds spent just to pick up a Billy Joel piano man. It's the dedication. This is also a big selling record in the shop, Tapestry. That's an American one as well. I was just looking for cool records and I saw them and I thought, can't not buy them. They're really cheap over here, so I'll get them. I'll take them back, but really, 
it's uh I, I don't think I'll be winning any prizes for kind of uh, efficient efficiency. Yeah, if you've ever done your Japanese models of uh, efficient processing, just in time manufacturing and all that, I wouldn't be winning any awards. And how did you get the, uh, how did you stock the shop? Well, I went to the States and I picked up a couple of $10 albums. What? Um, Tom brought these in, Die Young. I don't know, I guess it's, it's on the noisy side. But there's two of them. There's a brown vinyl and there's a not brown vinyl. I don't know what colour vinyl that is. Blue coal and the um, the locomotions. Blue coal is doing the locomotion. Blue coal. I know it doesn't want to be a Chris Rear at Christmas. I know it's not the road to hell. I know it's coming over Christmas. But uh, this is it's a really good record. I don't know why I said that surprisingly. I think Chris Rear is obviously just to be a bit sort of poppy, disposable poppy stuff. And it's a, uh, I think that needs a bit more attention. Uh, so that. I also have lots of 12 inch records. These are just a few that have come in. Love the life, JTQ with Noel McCoy. Lenny Williams, Giving Up On Love, 12 inch club remix, £2.50. And I had a load of dance records as well. And I've got all the people coming in for dance records going, can you play that? Can you play that? Can you play that? Can you play that? No. Can you play that? No. Can you play that? People who are into dance music are either the, are A, the most knowledgeable people, I think, but also B, the not the most knowledgeable people because they're coming in going, can you play that? Oh, that's not the one I thought. It just demonstrates that dance music, kind of 90s dance music, it's just so, it just exploded, didn't it? And it's just so vast that particularly when you get like, like white label, just understandable to white label, or just something that's, that's difficult to understand what it is. People are like, "What? What? What's that? Play it! Play it! Play it!" But uh, you know, you can ask, and I'll probably say no. Okay. Particularly to the bloke who had me playing them all day, and then bought one, and I thought this is not this is not the best. And I'm not putting a record deck out there because they'll get knackered, so I'm not doing it. So if anybody's watching this from other record shops, you probably will know, right? I'm not doing it. So, no. I'm, the foot's coming down. Can't get me foot that way. I'm putting me foot. I'm put. The foot's gone down. No. Ooh. I'm alright. I'm alright. I'm alright. Right, uh, let's go 23. Who's going to the, um, who's going to the heavy north tonight? I hope to go. I'm not sure if I am going to go, but I hope to go, so I might see you there. And you probably won't have watched this, but if you went, I hope you enjoyed it. And those lads deserve, deserve everything that's happening to them. They're on a trajectory. That's good. And uh, it's a good gig tomorrow night, Mug Smasher at the Outpost. Okay, welcome to the flick through video. We'll say 23 mins. This is a collectible bit. Okay, collectible. Collectible. What have we got? Well, I went to the States and I bought some records. If you're only watching the collectible bit, I'll just reiterate. Buy, put the titles, magazine in, come in and buy that. Um, yeah, so I, I've got some interesting stuff here. Some stuff I bought from the States, some stuff I, I went to, to, I was luckily enough, um, was able to go to Discord Records. So I went to Discord Records and I bought some stuff from them guys. I think most of it is available in the UK. I will have the Minor Threat EP, uh, the outtakes for the first EP. I'll have that uh, in, it's released today. I haven't got it yet, but I will be getting about six of them. And I've got, I think, three already being requested. They're gonna be about a tenner, I think, eight, nine, ten quid. I, I don't know, I've not done the conversion and worked out how much it all is and how much to get over here. Because they have to, they wouldn't give me them at the time, which is understandable, because uh, they didn't want them being played before the release date. Anyway, so I will get some in. They almost did. I think they trusted me, but uh, I think they probably thought for the best that not to. Anyway, look, so David Bowie uh, on my TVC 15 picture disc come in the shop. This came in, they're new, but they're not played. Club Hang Gang shows, oh, I see, shows your hits. Well, I don't, YouTube don't bar that for a bit of, a bit of flesh. Um, 
above all domain. Look at this, this is from Probe. Probe used to do these great little notes. I think probably still do. I've not been in Probe for a while because I don't need to, because I've got my own record shop. Um, plus they're grumpy. Stop being grumpy, Probe. Okay, it's old hat. Smile. Hey. Hello, customer. Uh, but, uh, they might they might be very cheery now. I had not been in, and when I did go in, they were very helpful to me. So there's a ding out to the guys at Pro. Above all, domain. Okay. Judas Priest. Screaming for vinyl. I mean, screaming for vengeance. Again, this is a band I, I, I kind of ignored when I was even getting into metal. I just didn't bother listening to. And I've listened to some of their stuff recently, and it's I, I was I was I don't know why I was surprised, but it's just it was really good. Really right in that kind of top of that kind of metal thing for me when I was sort of getting into Motorhead and Sabbath and Iron Maiden and stuff like that. Um, I, I just, for some reason, just ignored. I got into Rainbow and Deep Purple, but I ignored Judas Priest. Sorry. They're very good. Undertones. Got quite a few Undertones albums in. That's one everybody wants, but it's only got my cousin. It's got Jimmy Jimmy on it. But still, good. Clash, live in New York, 1979. Brand new. Midlake, Trials of Van Occupants there, gold vinyl, that's not gonna stick around for long. Some of the stuff I got from USA, USA, you. Ow. In a parallel universe, I wouldn't have done that. Nuggets. It's not like super collectible, but it's, 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 it's interesting. So this is the original Nuggets. Uh, the, 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 the original wolf sleeve of it. I've had a couple of these in, but obviously this is the US pressing of it. So we've got that in. Guns and Roses Lies. Like near mint copy of that, very nice. Um, I think actually this is not from the US. This is again another one from Tom. Dawn Raid, The Unlawful Assembly. Gold vinyl. Noisy. Uh, again. Uh, wait, what have we got? Fugazi, Teddy Diet, nothing. Fugazi. Beef Eater. Discord, isn't it? Discord, this is an original one. Some new, so I'll be putting out stuff over the kind of weeks as we go. I'm not putting it all out in one go. And I've got some belting records to go out up to December. A, a mixture of both 60s stuff. I don't know why I keep looking over there. It's just the light. Um, I'll look at you because it's rude not to talk to, to look at the people you're talking to. So, um, yeah, I've got some great records going out. Some 90s Brit pop. Uh, some 90s shoe gaze, if you want to call it that. Uh, I've got some 60s rare psych pop stuff going out. And then a load of, uh, obviously, the American stuff. This is the right mixture and, and there's some 60s stuff in it. There's some jazz and there's, there's some more poppy stuff, some more old indie stuff. And then obviously the new stuff I got from Discord, I'll, I'll start putting it all out after I've decided what I'm gonna keep. Anyway, new presses of, of Fugazi, Seven Songs, red vinyl from Handed to Me by Discord themselves. Fugazi repeater. Yeah, and the new Scream album on vinyl. Someone's asked me for this on CD. I'm going to try and get that on CD, but there it is on vinyl. I've got about two copies of this mint. All, obviously all new. And then one of the last thing, one of the cooler records that I did pick up in the States was the Fugs first album. There's loads of different versions of this. This is the first stereo pressing of it. So if you don't know who the Fugs are, you just get, you give them a listen. Right, I think that's it. Let's try and get it ended before. <gasps> 30 minutes thank you for watching please don't subscribe don't like don't encourage me but you know buy records from your local record shop all right let's see if the bluetooth works let's go and test drive this toilet paper <laughs> sorry see you later have a good day bye